Have you ever wondered what to do with all the wood in Factorio? In the search of a mod to take care of this problem, I came across something interesting that I would like to showcase today. Namely the mod Rubber and Resin by Thelron Relic. In combination with its dependencies, this mod adds a new building, the Greenhouse, inside of which we get access to various recipes. Let's add a storage chest together with an inserter and we're gonna fill this up with a little bit of wood. Now, as we start felling the trees, we actually also get different products other than wood and that would be those precious seeds. All of these things we can put into the storage chest and then choose a recipe. The first two recipes are about getting wood. We can input some seeds and water in order to get a stack of wood and slightly more seeds as a return. The second recipe would be used if you end up with too many seeds. It uses slightly more water and you will get less seeds as a result. The third recipe barely gives half a stack of wood but will return way more seeds than you input. Next up we have three resin recipes. You can use seeds and water in the hopes of getting some resin. Once you actually got your first resin, you can go ahead and multiply it using the resin cloning recipe. And then once you have a decent amount of resin, you can use the resin breeding to get even more. There's one final recipe, another way to get solid fuel in case you end up with way too many seeds. Good, I think I'm gonna put this to the test, already input a little bit of wood, and then we're gonna get started with the recipe that will reward us with a little bit more seeds than we input. We're also gonna need a water pump as mentioned. Now we can see the crafting time is actually really slow. Let's see if we can speed this up with beacons. No, I don't think this building can be influenced, so you will have to build many of them. However, the recipe to actually craft them isn't extremely expensive. Now I think the idea is to build a crafting chain that will allow you to regulate everything. So let me just come up with an example to set up this crafting chain and regulate the resources. In the first stage, I would say we're just gonna try to produce as many seeds as possible, just multiply them and then bring them all the way back. Here I have a little system with a initial chest that I would fill up with wood and the seeds I'm getting from the wild. Then we have two filter stack inserters that will put those two materials on either side of a belt. The belts would then just continue into the greenhouses producing more wood and seeds, which is then gonna go back all the way here back into the initial chest and then you will probably also set up some logic so that it doesn't overfill it with either material. On the other side here I have hooked up another stack filter inserter to a green cable to the storage chest and the filter inserter is just going to enable itself if we have more than 100 seats in this chest. So we can still supply all of the greenhouses on the top but then all of the extra seeds would continue to the next step, which would be producing some initial resin. Now, initially, we need to get the worst recipe here just to get the initial resin. But as soon as we have one single resin, we should be able to upgrade to the next recipe and then multiply it more efficiently. Okay, I now continued the crafting chain. Basically, what happens here is we are using all of the extra seeds, everything that is a plus 100 right here, and we are inputting it into machines creating the resin for us. So these guys can always be in place. They will just use up our extra seeds and craft more resin. Then we are actually multiplying the resin here with the best recipe. So we have a chance to multiply four resin to either five or seven resin. And then I just chained up a couple of them. This is then going all the way back here into a storage chest and it is only allowed to continue if we have a certain amount in excess. So let's say I want always 100 resin in these chests so I set this up right here inside of the inserter that's hooked up to the chest. And I also halted the belt right here so that the inserter actually has the time to pick up the items. Then all of the extra resin can continue and you can just go ahead smelt it up into rubber which then finally you can go ahead and use to craft some builds. Buildings. As a matter of fact, you do need the rubber, for instance, for vehicles. So a car will require 50 rubber to be crafted, such as the tank will require 100 rubber, and it's even included in the Spidertron recipe. So it does make the game a little bit more complex, and it is even more interesting with the whole mod suit together, which I will come to in just a minute. Another thing I believe requires rubber are the fast express belts. So you just require one piece of rubber to craft it. And then finally inside the intermediate products it's also required by the low density structures. But yeah this basically adds something for each phase of the game. In the early game you try to get as many seeds as possible while in the mid game you are crafting the resin and the rubber and it's just something nice and lightweight to make the game a little bit more complex and interesting. 
before we wrap up the spotlight, I want to give you some more recommendations. For instance, if you want to increase the difficulty, you could go ahead and also install the silicone and quartz mod by the same author. But even better, you can combine it with a suit of mods by a different author called Brevin. And this might spice up your game quite a bit this is actually a suit of mods and depending on your experience you might be interested in installing some of them. There are also recommendations depending on your experience if you just want it slightly harder then you could install the titanium lead and tungsten mods. If you're interested to make it even harder you can add the graphite and diamonds tin and natural gas mods additional to the other materials we just discussed. And then at a even higher difficulty together with aluminium, zirconium and silicone. And then if you want the hardest difficulty, you would just go ahead and install all of these mods, including the foundry mod and crazy stuff like salt, chlorine and many intermediate materials. So yeah, I have to say overall, this is a very interesting mod, especially because I usually don't know what to do with the wood. And this would be a lightweight way to deal with it other than just destroying it. If you're interested in this mod or the suit, I will have them linked in the description. And with that out of the way, let's wrap up this spotlight. If you're interested in more spotlights in the future, let me know with a thumbs up and definitely subscribe for more Factorio content in the future. Have a good one and catch you in the next video. Bye bye.